When thinking about how to talk to reporters, begin by asking why talk to reporters. Well, because they're calling you, or you're calling them. Either way, the experience of experts suggests that the same basic principles and guidelines apply. And these are not complicated. You do have a message. To do their jobs, reporters need the information you have. And those who appear to take to skillful media relations naturally are often those who are best prepared, that is, trained. From these principles, we can derive guidelines. Number one, be prepared. Preparation includes studying the information specific to a given message on a particular day and also laying the groundwork for effective communication by cultivating relationships with specific reporters over time. Don't lie sounds like common sense, but we've seen so many people get in trouble lying to reporters that no training video on this topic could be complete if this guideline were omitted. Number three, communicate effectively, yes, but how? To communicate effectively, you need to remember what makes it news? Change, timeliness, impact, prominence, proximity, the unusual, and conflict. These seven elements make your information relevant to reporters and their audiences. If they're calling you, this is why. If you're calling them, see if you can frame your message so that it incorporates some of these seven elements. And if you have to talk to reporters in the course of doing your job, Tina Morton has experience from which you can benefit. More than 20 years experience as a spokeswoman for the Travis County Tax Office. I wish that anybody who's learning about working with reporters would know that it really does boil down to relationship and I have a story to tell that is evidence of that. Uh, in 21 years of service we've had very few uh, negative reports in the paper or headlines and as it turns out a few Januarys ago we had headlines in our local newspaper that said Travis receipts full of glitches or something like that. And it, I thought it would be on the Metro page, but sure enough, it turned up on the front page. It was startling. And what happened is a vendor that we had contracted with had mailed out receipts for taxes paid, but somehow the files got messed up in production. And so people were getting gibberish on their receipts or they're getting the wrong amounts. And it was fast becoming a very big problem. My relationship with the reporter who wrote that story had everything to do with getting what I would call a fair shake. Yes, we had a problem. Yes, it was a vendor problem. So when she called to cover that story, uh, we invited the vendor into the meeting and let him tell what happened. Therefore, it didn't deflect the responsibility from our office, but it explained it fully about how it happened and where it happened. And that way we could deal with the problems in a much more effective way. There's obviously a lot more to learning how to talk to reporters than watching a short video on the internet. But you can see how these basic guidelines and principles do make a start toward adding this skill to your set. If you'd like to learn more, use the contact form at the aimcertified.com website. That's aim with two I's, A-I-I-M certified.com. Sean's speech is basically an informational speech with a lot of humor in that because Sean has a lot of experience in his business, in the communication business.